What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Accu Audio Garage. Happy New Year. I hope 2022 was good to you and I hope 2023 is even better. Um, this is just a quick video today to basically let you know about the products that are coming up. Some of the projects we're working on this year. Uh, our video schedule, what we plan to do and how we plan to do it all. So first things first, hope to do a video a week this year. Uh, it's 52 videos. I know it's not a lot, but hey, at least you get good content, let you know about your different Acuras and things you can upgrade, not upgrade, etc. Then I want to talk to you about the products we're launching. So we have a product calendar for the at least like the first six months of this year. Well, first things first, let's talk about the video schedule. So there are, we have a TSX now, I'll show it to you in a little bit. So we have a 04, 06 TSX and we actually got a new TL. So before we had a black TL that we were doing product testing on, we have a brand new silver TL and we're going to be doing our DIY Pro Series on both cars. So make sure you subscribe for that. Also, make sure you give the video a like. Just a happy new year to me. Um, then we have some videos set up for the 07 to 13 MDX for navigation. So we're finally coming out with that product. Then um, we're trying to get some newer cars in here. So like a 09 TL, 10 TL, uh, 1211 TSX. And then hopefully move to the ILX and the TLX. It's just limiting when you don't have uh, people who have the cars who will help you or give you a chance to work on them. Uh, so they'll come and go. But as we continue to grow, we'll invest in newer cars. Uh, so right now we're sitting on the third generation TL and I think it's the second generation TSX. But all right, so we talked a little bit about the video outline, DIY Pro Series, some of the product demonstration videos we'll do as well with the amps and some of the speakers and stuff. Let me talk to you about upcoming products. So. Actually, before I jump to that, let me talk to you about um, current products. So these all have launched. They're available and on our website. And if you're wondering what this is, amp bypasses. So if you have a TSX 04 to 08, amp bypass has been out. I don't know if you missed that video, but the amp, amp bypass has been out or amp integration harness. It's really meant if you're going to use a factory radio to install a new amp on the factory radio. We have the same thing for the TL already available. Now we have it for the 04 to 06 MDX with Bose. If you have a 01 to 04, I mean, no. Yeah, if you have an 01 to 03, sorry, it's two amps, so you can't, you gotta bypass them both. There's not one harness for it. You have a newer Acura TL, so 09, I'm sorry, this is MDX. You have a MDX from seven to 13, you wanna bypass the amp. We have the amp bypass for the um, non-nav, and this is the amp, T harness integration which basically means you take the output out of the amp into your DSP and then it gives you the connections all to all the speakers so you'll keep your factory line you keep your factory amp in line there's just T harnesses into the output section of that amp you're gonna need a DSP or you could use uh, the JBL plug-and-play amp we have coming out uh, I'll talk to you about in a second but if you want the integration harness do your own thing if you have navigation this will work on the TL MDX TSX um, it's been tested and then if you have a TL non-nav we have the amp bypass or amp integration for you to replace the factory amp and then if you have a TSX we have that as well on the TSX the only special case here is the tweeters are protected by the amplifier they have a crossover at the amplifier so when you use this you need to either put your crossover on the tweeters as well or uh, figure out if you run new component speakers etc but the extra wires for the tweeters are in this harness um, the other things that have launched uh, are on our website now is the five channel amp for the newer, all those cars that I just mentioned that have the amp bypass, we have a plug and play amp for. We're also developing the JBL DSP amp product. So it's just basically an amp that lets you work with navigation or without navigation, lets you keep all your speakers, makes it, it makes everything sound really good. Uh, it even gives you a remote out and the signal out so that you can run your own sub amplifier. Then, uh, in the works, we have a plug and play harness for your newer Acura, so 09 to 13 TL and TSX. And then I think it's, yeah, it's 09 to 13 MDX as well. Use these plugs, so we're coming up with a solution plug and play. This is almost ready for like a complete kit or a DIY harness. It's just a matter of actually testing in a car based on all the diagrams and stuff, it should work, but that is what it is. Um, something that's just on my desk came to me is subspacer. If you have a old Acura, like a 04 TL, we have the spacer. If you have a newer Acura, 09 to 13, I think, no, it's like 09 to 20. Same sub, same spacer. You can either pick the sub or you can choose one of the subs we have. We have the JBL sub now. 
The two kicker subs, um, I wouldn't recommend the Pioneer sub, but that is available as well. Um, what else is in my notebook here? One sec. Plug and play amps, that's going to be pretty big. Uh, then the JBL amp for the navigation. And then the DIY kits. Yeah, okay, cool. So we talked about upcoming products. Let's talk about some upcoming videos. Let me bring it to the back. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been following the videos, but uh, my dog's a whole year old now. Come on, chill, 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 chill. He's still a menace though. But yeah, here's the TSX uh, DIY Pro Series coming soon. Kind of have it apart right now. I don't know how good you can see with the light, uh, but we did find a dash kit that they sell on eBay here. We're test fitting it. And then we also have the dash kit from Metra um, ready to go to make the videos. Uh, speaker stuff, we already pulled the back cover so we can see which six by nines actually fit. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see the videos coming for this car and then leave a comment to see what kind of video you wanna see for whatever you, you want to see installed. And then here's a new tail I'm talking, I was telling you about. This thing is filled with stuff right now, but I'll show you kind of what I can. So here's the JBL DSP amp that I'm telling you about. And then you can see it's like real, similar to the factory amp so it's going to fit right in there install right in there and here's our plug and play harness um, this is going to require a new power line in most use cases and the only downside to this amp is that you can only tune it with your computer and you have to use a usb to tune it and then we have our five channel here our standard five channel for the tl we just had uh, some power readings to make sure we are shipping you something that's safe and will work with your factory electrical system here we have the little Pioneer 4 channel if you only want your door speakers to work. Um, then there's a bunch of stuff in the back. Hey guys, whatever video you want to see on either car, let us know. We'll try our best to make it, only if it makes sense. Uh, we thought about doing the navigation conversion into this or maybe the new Tesla radio, like um, seeing how much it's improved since the last one. But I don't know, we'll get that from feedback. I'll try and think what else I could tell you about. Um, if you want to replace the radio for your Acura, if you have a TL, TSX, MDX, where your go-to place. Oh, if you have a navigation MDX and you want to replace the radio, you can do that now by bypassing the factory amplifier and replacing the radio. But when you do that, you end up um, having to choose which speakers to keep if you're not going to use an amp because your factory radio powers everything through that factory amplifier. The aftermarket radio, you're going to bypass that amplifier. Your aftermarket radio only has four channels of output. So you got to pick four speakers you want to keep. The fronts are in line with the tweeters, but they are like a lower impedance, so that might cause some trouble for your aftermarket radio. And then the rears are also lower impedance. And then your satellite speakers, and then keeping the subwoofer is also a challenge. So like, if you wanna do that, I recommend changing your door speakers and installing a sub and calling it a day if you have an MDX with navigation. It's the easiest way. I did a lot of talking in this video. I showed you a bunch of stuff. You're probably like, what the hell's going on? Here's my message. Subscribe, there's a lot of content coming out this year. A lot of products coming out this year. If you're looking to do something audio-wise to your Acura, we probably have the solution for you. So check our website, AcuraAudioGarage.com. Right now, we'll probably redirect you to Mobile Max Car Audio. We hope to have a new website out by March of this year. Really cool, it's gonna be um, allow you to like create a profile for your car just so that you can see exactly what fits and be notified about products that would work for you or if you were interested in a certain product and it's not out yet, you can subscribe to get notified when it does come out. But all right, guys, that's really it for the video. I'm just going to ask that you like. Make sure you subscribe. There's a ton of content coming this year. And share with someone who has an Acura. And as always, I appreciate you for watching.